Hello! I'm a bottle of eggnog. <laughs> and this is Jerry Ford, the beer review guy. And we got Jeremy over here. And we got David over here. David Hillstrom, my nephew from Ohio. Him and his wife Stacy and, and their dog St Sadie are here um, for the holidays. So I'm going to have, have, uh, have him do a review with Jeremy and I. And this is the Pennsylvania Dutch um, eggnog made with real dairy cream. Rum, brandy, and whis blended whiskey, and it says uh, made and bottled by Dairyland Distillers Company, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. 14.75% alcohol by volume, 29.5 proof. All right. Shake before pouring, serve chilled, refrigerate after opening. Let you see this picture a little bit okay. all right um, that about it? old style eggnog it says up here on the neck <clears throat> all right none of us have had an alcoholic eggnog so this is going to be a, an experience for all of us How's it smell? It smells like an like a vanilla eggnog with a little alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. Very intense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could take our breath away. <laughs> All right. We don't have any of the same glasses, so we're just kind of going with what we got. Here's that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. David's because it's easier to see there's there it is you know kind of a vanilla colored um, looks like melted ice cream um, looks very creamy um, there's not yeah looks pretty thick somewhat thick the, the liquor and it kind of thinned it up just a little bit there's no, there's no, you know, specks of nutmeg or anything like that in it. Um, not that I can see. You see any, Jeremy? No. You see any, David? Any, any color like? It's just, just plain wood. milky looking, and that's yeah. about really it. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see what we've got on that aroma for sure. Yeah. Just getting the vanilla. Getting the alcohol aroma. Yeah. It's most lightly sweet. Yeah, I can definitely get that. Sweetness. Mm hmm All right, well let's take a drink. Mm -hmm. Cheers. 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 Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> Man, that's pretty smooth. Mm -hmm. That is. Woo! Wow. That's pretty good. Yeah, it is. I actually like that. I was not sure. Take another tug on it, Jeremy. <laughs> Candy with a bit of burning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You're getting you're getting the you know, you're getting the whiskey. Um I'm getting a little bit of rum. I'm not getting the brandy so much. Me, anyway. Um, I'm not really experienced with brandy. I know more about whiskey and rum than, than it. Than it. Um, I'm getting the dairy cream. Mm. It's creamy. It's milky. Getting the vanilla. It's got a light to medium consistency, or density, like Jeremy would say, mm -hmm. on the thickness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the whiskey is, I mean, it's a little strong in there, the liquor part, but... It's kind of subdued where it doesn't take your breath away. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you take a shot of, of whiskey and chase it with some kind of soda pop. It's like, whoa, it's really strong and mm -hmm. 
and or if you're not even chasing it, it about takes your breath away. You're like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but yeah, it's not strong enough for me. <coughs> right. To be a chaser. Well, this is pretty pleasant. Yeah. Um, Danielle, the the young lady that works at the liquor store that I go to, that I, where I got this, she said this stuff was selling pretty quick. They had she had um, the Evan Williams for a while. They sold out of it, and it, they didn't get any back in. But they got this instead, and she said this was just as popular. So she says people were saying this was really good. So it was like it was like flying out of the store. Is eggnog something you serve on ice ever? No. Okay, I don't know much. No, not to my knowledge. David's never even tried regular eggnog that he remembers. So, some of my regular viewers and fellow um, reviewers, subscribers, or whatever, um, has, has seen Jeremy and I doing eggnog reviews of different kinds of eggnogs. Um, but if we was at the other house, we have a couple different eggnog, eggnogs over there. We could have did a review with, with David on that. They're one that's like silk nog. For people that have that are lactose intolerant, you know, can't handle dairy products. It's mm -hmm. um, and then there was another one. Did we get another one? Well, we haven't done. Yeah, I think it's in the refrigerator. I, I can't remember what that one is, but anyway. Yeah. But yeah, this is uh, mm -hmm. this is good. I mean, it's just you know, it's not for slamming down. It's just a an enjoyable drink to drink on. While you're relaxing or something, um, and for every you know to share with people to try it at a parties or something, um, but yeah, very good. It has kind of a vanilla aftertaste, the uh, the kind of minty kind of alcoholic or extra astringent astringent extract. No, no. astringency. Hmm. Kind of like an alcohol type um, taste or aftertaste. Hmm. Um, has that kind of a little bit on the back end. You know what I'm talking about? Nope. I'll have to Google that word later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Dude, he's a, he's a car scientist and he doesn't the know what that scientist. is. Come on. <laughs> You're more intelligent than me. You have to know what that is. <laughs> Oh, shoot. But anyway, um, see, even I'm teaching David, which is <laughs> on the edge of being a genius, and he doesn't, he doesn't know what astringency is. You can barely say it, so just that. Wow. <laughs> hacking. <laughs> hacking on me. <laughs> okay. No more eggnog alcoholic for you guys. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to cut it off there. This is really good. Dutch, or Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania Dutch. Find If you find this, check this stuff out. It's worth it's worth giving a try. It's the first one that, that any of us have ever tried of this kind of uh, beverage. So it was a, it was a nice, uh, interesting thing to experience. Okay. Well, we'll leave it, leave it at that, and like I said, I, I appreciate y'all watching, and uh, um, we'll cut it off here, and we're going to visit with David and, and his mom, and uh, see you all on the next one. Have a good rest of your weekend. Bye.